Gaff, obviously, disappointing results on the road. Can you give us your thoughts, please? Um, you know, they've done really well. First half, we weren't very good. Um, I just thought Alfreton uh, stuck it on us a lot and, and we had to defend a lot of set plays. Uh, must have been 15 throws into the box, corners after corner. Um, balls coming in from the halfway line, defended so well. But we didn't get. It was very difficult to get a foothold in the game and, and get the ball down and maybe start playing. Um, and then at half time, we, we we had a sort of plan of what we wanted to do at the start of the game, but it never seemed to to, to get going. And, and at half time, we we had a chat about it. You know, our clearances have to be better. They have to stay on the pitch because we're just giving them opportunities again. And um, I thought second half we were so much better. Um, by far the better team but we've conceded a goal and, and that's you know killed us and we said we don't want to leave here losing 1-0 because it's one of them horrible score lines where Alfton are a fantastic team at what they do um, but we felt if we could just get into some pockets and, and get down the size of them we might have caused them a problem and, and you know second half we've done that we've just failed to, to put the ball in the back of the net and um, I just said to him then you can't have as many chances as we've had second half and, and come away not scoring and, and not winning a game so um, but no look there's, they, they did really well uh, it was tough conditions um, but no I'm, I'm pleased with our performance just disappointed with the key moments in the game we never really got right I was going you spoke do you touch on the um, many chances we created then does it just show how important it is to just to take your chances when you're ahead and when you're on yeah, top yeah I, I think look Alverton have dominated the first half. Um, we had the best chances. I think Owens had one where he's in the six-yard box and, and blazed it over. Um, he's had another header, which the keepers made a great save from. Um, and second half, the keepers made two or three really good saves from distance. We've had balls flashing across the goal. We've had scrambles here and there. And, um, you know, it just didn't go in for us today. So, but it is, it's true. We need to take our chances, and I think if you look back at, at the the Darlington game, we've had more chances today than then. Um, I think even in the Farsley game where we beat them four, we've probably had more chances today than in that game as well. So it shows how well the lads are played to create them. We're just disappointed that we've we've you know look the lads are saying it's offside um the line i was adamant it was on we'll have a look at it but it is what it is now um i think sometimes you know and again i've, I've said it to them in there you take a step back alfreton are in the playoffs they're a very good side um and we've come here today and and you know deservedly should have got something out of the game so it shows again how far we've come but we need to put points on the board um so we're just disappointed, but I did say to him at the start of the game, this, our season ain't going to depend on beating Alfreton who are in the playoffs. Um, we've got games coming up which we're going to have to win like we did against Darlington, but um, we get to go uh, on Monday against Boston, it'll be a completely different game, you know, a different style. Um, so, uh, but no, we're just disappointed with, with losing as you always are, but, you know, we deserve some out of the game today. What positives do you take from today, though, and to Monday? I just think we've, for the second half, we've dominated it. Um, I think after the goal, it was one-way traffic, and um, key players played well. You know, if you look at how many chances Owen had today, he's, he's got into those opportunities. Ram was was really good as well. The boys coming off the bench were good. I thought in midfield we were we were good and um, aggressive in our pressing and, and, and winning second balls. Um, and I thought defensively, second half, other than the goal, you know, we were strong. So, look, there's a lot of positive. And I've just said to them, like, we're not disappointed. And I've said this numerous times. We, we, we enjoy winning games of football. You know, they don't come around very often. We lose games and, and we just get back on, on the horse, as they say, and, and, and go again. So, like I say, we're looking forward to, to Monday um, being back at home. Um, like I say, it'll be a different style. And, you know, we did some analysis before the game, uh, the club, and, and we talked about how difficult it's going to be today to, to dictate a game of football just because of the way Alverton play. Uh, and again, that's no disrespect to them. They're, they're very effective at what they do and they're a good side and they're hard, uh, whether you're playing them at home or playing them away. Um, they're a hard team to to, to suss out uh, and to stop doing what they do because of 
you know, just one misplaced pass it ends up in your box from, from a throw. And uh, if it's not, you know, Lund chucking it in, the fullbacks chucking it in as well. So it's it's um, it's difficult to play against. But I think our Achilles heel has been set pieces over the last maybe month and a half. But today, they've, they've defended a uh, lot like Warriors today in terms of... So I, I need that again on, on Monday now because I think... Um, you know, half the amount of crosses and, and set pieces are going to come into our box on Monday. And if we can defend like we have today, it gives ourselves a platform to to, to maybe go and, and, and cause problems the other end. Um, like I say, we're disappointed. The fans were brilliant today as well. Um, just just one of them games where, uh, you know, we could have got something out of the game today and it would have been a massive, massive point or, or three points if we'd got it but uh, it weren't to be and, and we'll we'll move on just finally obviously christian green was back in the in the squad today how happy are you one that he's returned to full business and two the fact that our bench was so strong today as well you know what that's one thing in the warm-up i actually looked across and, and we've got some numbers and there's still a few not in the squad today so i think it's going to help us massively to compete for the last sort of month of the season um you know greeny obviously look it's, it's good to have him back um, I just felt the way the game was going, uh, him coming back from injuries, it worth chucking him on in, in, in this game. Uh, so, you know, he's available Monday, so we'll be uh, delighted to have him back. You know, he's our leader, he's our captain, so um, that'll be really good. Uh, I think Mitch Clark's available as well, so, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be strong Monday. We know Boston are a very good team in the playoffs again, and I, I've said to the boys again, like Monday, we go um, enjoy ourselves to a certain degree. You know, I always say that we're privileged to be at the level, but um, sometimes when we enjoy ourselves, we put in a real good performance as well, and we're going to need that a similar performance to when we went there. Um, I think we were missing seven first team players that day, and I'll be honest, I, I do know how they did it, but um, you know, we went and won the game, and it was such uh, an incredible result, and we 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 need to go and put in that performance on Monday. Um, but like I say, look, beating Boston isn't going to determine our season right now. Um, but it's an opportunity for us to to maybe uh, surprise them a little bit um, because we're a good team. And 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 to be fair to Alfreton, um, teams prepare properly against us because we are. Uh, I'm not saying we're in a forced position because we're not. We are where we are for a reason. But in terms of performances, we are uh, up there in terms of our possession stats and and stuff like that. Um, probably since the turn of the year uh, so we know we've got a chance on Monday it's an opportunity for us to be back at home we know it's going to be really tough um, I know they've won today they're in great form um, but it's an opportunity for us and I keep saying to the lads we keep, we'll keep, always have opportunities until you know the last couple of games of the season when you know we'll 100% know what it looks like But uh, but at this moment in time we just need to um, get over, you know, the disappointment. We'll be okay. We'll have a good journey home, and uh, we'll be uh, we'll be in on Sunday to to prepare for for um, for Boston on Monday.